Well, as we know, Richard Douglas is no slouch behind the wheel, taking an early lead in our four-wheel drive challenge before his time was matched by Sam Jacobs. This week, it's David McKay's turn in the Toyota Hilux with good friend Andy Otten in the back seat. Can he succeed in catching the leaders when others have failed? Yeah, it was good fun. Um, it was uh, interesting. I, uh, no, it was really enjoyable, but uh, just glad the car is unbreakable because uh, there was a few times I scraped it and felt like uh, bits and pieces were going to fall off, but uh, in the end we got through in one piece, which was the main objective. Well, it's easy. It's like you can and when you're in the air, there's no grip. I think Otto was a bit jumpy actually in the back seat. I just felt he's, he was sort of climbing all over me. I think he wanted to get his hands on the steering wheel and stop me from doing a few things. But um, no, it was good fun. He he was uh, you know giving me a bit of stick, and um, I'm just you know at this point I'm not in the back seat with him, being able to retaliate. <laughs> so mine's racing now. <laughs> yes. Well, probably the bit where we sort of went up on our on our side almost on two wheels, and then. Um, I did give it a bit of a scrape though coming out of that, so I probably need to work on my, um, I guess, my entry out of the uh, corner. You made it. <laughs> wow, we have a new leader. DMAC blitzed the course. His time of 2 minutes 38 just shaded Dougie and Sauce, so with only a few weeks left, it's game on. Who's going to be among the final challenges? 